All right, welcome back to the second part of the female figure, the side view. Uh, we're going to be adding some muscles today. All right, so for digital users, lower your opacity so you can draw the muscles over. So, and if you're using paper, do your best to just follow along. Try to draw over your, your drawing the best as you can. All right, so let's start with the face. We're going to find out where the eyes are, and the eyes are halfway uh, dividing the box in half. So. And we want to have the eyes semi um, inset, so we got to give that a bridge right here. So start back here and draw this kind of arrow like that to show that she's facing this way. And then we got to find where the eyebrows are, just a little bit above the eye. And that should line up just around the top of the ears. And from the eyebrow down to the chin, halfway, that's where I like to put the nose. And halfway from the bottom of the nose to the bottom of the chin is the mouth. All right. So pay attention to this. Eyes back here. Out here is the nose for the muzzle. It's the muzzle. And then it comes down at an angle, slight angle for the mouth. So one, two, three. All right. So let's draw the, that profile coming down for the forehead, come down for the bridge of the nose, come out, come down for the top of the lip. Do a little mark here for the crease of the lip, bottom lip, come back in, come down. So, like this. Okay. And then you can finish it off with a little line here to show the crease of the mouth. It can be slightly higher, you don't have to smile. And draw a little line or arc for the eyeball. So you want to so you want to add a little line here connecting your chin to your neck. All right, it doesn't go it doesn't go straight up and then down. It goes back this way and then connecting it to your neck. Okay. So I'm going to do the hair rather quickly. I don't want to make this a hair video, so just We'll have to save the uh, uh, hair for another uh, tutorial because that's a monster of its own. My hair breaks the top of the uh, drawing because of the, the body and the volume. But it can be flat for some people depending on the character, and you know, flat hair, bouncy hair. Now the eyes go up this way, so we give the eyelashes going this way. Come down for the collarbone, start with that little notch right there. Fall down with the chest bone. Okay, so find the base of the breast, right? One third down, up here. Curve up towards number six. And then come back up to meet with the chest bone. The point should line right here where the nipples are. Come back and attach it to side of the ribs. Follow this line from the ribs down to the waist. Right there, about one fourth. Alright, so for the stomach, come down in this direction and then following that circle shape, coming down this way like this. So at an angle. Now I'm going past that fourth line slightly for the crotch area and coming back for the buttocks. Now, this is the lower spine, follow that, come down, back to the butt, again. Now I'm drawing through the figure just to show you guys the form of the figure. Come down, and you can slightly shave off that form back there, that ribs did come back a little bit too far. And follow back up to the neck. There we go. So if I turn off this skeleton, something like that. For the armpit, we're gonna follow this line here, okay? This this chest muscle here, not the breast. It's two different masses, okay? So a lot of times people will get that mixed up where the breast is connecting towards the armpit. You wanna try to just line it up right there. This mass here. And come down for the, the bicep following that bone structure we have. The back of the arm 
catches itself right here. But same thing here. Towards the elbow. Even a little bump. Back down from the front of the forearm and then the back side. Straight. I'm gonna simplify the shape for her hand. So here's the hand. About a third down is where her knuckles are gonna be. So put that like that. Uh, all right, so for the leg, we're going to give our thigh muscles, starting from this point here, following that pelvis structure, down, and back. Okay. So out, out, down, and back. For the back of the leg, continue right here from the hand, like this, and then back from the calf. And then down. Following the heel, come up a little bit like this. And then for the front of the shin, you guys can keep it closer to the bone. There's not very many muscles in the front of your shin. Now follow down and finish it off with the feet. You can give it a little width on that just by coming down at an angle like that. Let's see how it looks with the bones turned off. And there you go. Just to finish off some of the details for the character. Draw on the base of the feet. Um, erase out some lines. Some smaller hands. Since she is a girl, it's kind of big. Alright, so we're going to add some detail lines. And this little line here is for the pelvis. And over here for the ribs. Add this little line here to show the top of the shoulder. Smooth it out. You don't want some. You don't want to have things too pointy. On the female figure. Put her ear in because it was on her underdrawing. Make sure it lines up the top of her eyebrow. And only a little bit of the ear pops out, not the whole ear. Like that. Or not at all, it depends on your preference. A little line here for the ankle bone. A little line here for the elbow. So a few points to remember. Andrew Loomis draws his stomachs going this way in his reference. That's probably the preference during his time, but it's not very woman-like and not very realistic, so uh, females tend to have more of an arch there, and even if they are skinny, um, they have that arch. It's very, it's so that they can bear the the child, and um, it's just what I do. This way, it's not that they're fat. See, the back is over here, and it curves into that angle. Okay, unlike the male figure, make sure your 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 lines are curvy, not blocky. And for breasts, it's different for every girl, of course some point at an angle then this way some might be straightforward in this case it is going straight forward well, if they were to slightly come at an angle it'd be more like that and falling to the sides somewhat maybe move this pelvis bone in a little bit maybe far too far back so or turn on your skeleton and figure out where it is. See? It's like this. Again, the circle is just a basic shape for us to follow. The pelvis is more of a weird uh, thingy thing. And that is typically how I would draw the female figure. Alright, so that's it for this video. Click this link up here to start from the beginning, from the front view and click this link here for the next video, once it's up. Take care, keep drawing, and peace!